Order. 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 One second. A point of order, Mr. Sum. It's quite clear that the Honourable Lady had not resumed her seat, sir. Being in the chair accords you many privileges, but you cannot reinterpret the wishes of an Honourable Member who is on her feet. Mr. Summon, as the Chair, I have the right to make decisions on this House. Just a moment. Well, I would say, is, quite rightly, I wanted to bring the Honourable Lady in, which I did. When the SNP whip comes and gives me an ask for me to give a couple of minutes to ensure that you've got another voice, which I did. I certainly don't expect advantages to be taken of the Chair on the agreement that I made. That's the difference. Sit down. Sit. Thank you, Mr Hoyle. Thank you, Mr Hoyle, and thank you for the chairing of this debate. Mr Sam. Oh, Mr Wishart, oh, calm down. It's a very serious matter. It's so serious that I want to hear what the Minister's got to say in, no, in response to where we are. I think it's very serious. I want to hear it. Well, um, this is a hugely important debate. Order! Order. Mr Sam, can I can you just clarify something for me? Tempers are running quite high. We need to just calm it down. In fairness, I've been very generous in coming into the chair. Mr Wishart, we don't need any extra help just for the moment. Can I just say, I want to hear, and you would expect to hear, what the Minister got to say in response to the opening speeches, which I believe you would have wanted answers to. Now, the fact is, I believe this House also wants to hear what the Minister's got to say. The last thing I wanted to do was take up the time on points of order because in the end we'll not hear what the Minister's got to say. Now I understand you may have used some unparliamentary language to me. I'm sure that's not the kind of person that you are and I'm sure you didn't. I'm saying I, I don't know. No, I didn't. I'm saying I'm sure it wasn't the case. That's what I said. I didn't accuse you far from it. Now then, what I want to do is let's get the Minister on his feet. All four corners of the United Kingdom. Uh, everyone who has spoken in this debate agrees on the importance of engaging closely with the devolved administrations and legislatures as we embark upon the forthcoming negotiations. I have to say, I have great respect for, for you as a chair, but I hope you can understand the frustration that we all feel that only two SNP MPs have been called in this debate, which is important to the future of Scotland and our position within Europe. And I'm asking what you can do to make sure in this debate that the voice of the people of Scotland is held correct, heard correctly. It has not been heard this evening to the extent that it should. Can, can I just say to you, I've walked into the chair, I've tried to ensure there was a second voice, which we're listening to. That's what I agreed to, and that's what I've done. In fairness, I think you've done better than was going to happen, and in which case, let's see what the Minister's got to say. Mr Hoyle, engaging the devolved administrations and discussing their priorities is exactly what the Joint Ministerial Council on EU negotiations was set up for. It brings together the constituent parts of the United Kingdom to discuss each government's requirements for the future relationship with the EU. 